Please be seated. So welcome to the first Loyalist College in Toronto convocation. For anybody who read the program, you will have noticed that Donna Church was meant to be the MC, uh, the Master of Ceremonies for this morning's proceedings, but due to unforeseen health reasons, unfortunately, Donna is not able to attend. You probably noticed I'm not Donna. My name is Simon McQueen, and I'm the CEO of Toronto Business College at uh, Loyalist College in Toronto. So it's a pleasure. <laughs> pleasure to be here with all of you this morning. Loyalist College in Toronto would like to acknowledge that we live and work on the traditional territory of Haudenosaunee-speaking nations, including the Huron, Wendat, Seneca, and Mohawk. Haudenosaunee-speaking nations have been here since time immemorial and were more recently joined by the Mississaugas of the Credit. I forgot to, by the way, please, if you could silence your cell phones. <laughs> I was supposed to lead with that. This place has many indigenous ports, including where the Humber and Rouge Rivers meet the water other waterways, such as Lake Ontario. Ancient longhouses, Typical Haudenosaunee housing structures have been found along both of these rivers and in the north of, of Toronto as well. For example, near um, York University. This territory is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wamput Belt Covenant, an agreement between the Haudenosaunee Six Nations Confederacy and the Anishinaabe, Ojibwe, and allied nations to peaceably share and care for the lands and the relationships around the Great Lakes. What this means is that by living and working here, we all have a responsibility to the environment and to each other, to treat each other and the environment with peace and respect. This means we have responsibilities to honor, renew, and consistently uphold the values and relationships outlined in these ancient agreements. Today, Toronto is home to indigenous peoples and settlers from around the world. Let us all come together in an atmosphere of respect and peace to do good work together with good minds. Niawen Miigwech. Thank you. Now would you please Stand and join Miss Haley Preziosi in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land. True patriot love in all of us command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Thank you. 
Yeah, you may now sit, please. Thank you. This morning, we are recognizing Ontario graduate certificates. And it is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Anne-Marie Vaughan, President of Loyalist College, who will officially open today's convocation and will address graduates. Well, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here with you today to celebrate our amazing graduates. I now declare Loyalist College in Toronto's convocation ceremony officially open. <laughs> On behalf of the Loyalist College Board of Governors, it is my privilege to extend a very special welcome to you graduates on this day of celebration. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to the friends, family, community partners, faculty and staff who have been an integral part of your gradua of graduating students' post-secondary and professional journeys. Convocation is an incredible milestone. It's an incredible milestone for you to have reached and we're all so delighted to celebrate with you today. I know I speak on behalf of the Loyalist College employees and the Board of Governors when I say we are immensely proud of each and every one of you and how much you've accomplished in order to be here today. Never before has anyone had to complete their post-secondary education and then make their way into the workforce during a global health crisis. This is truly a remarkable accomplishment and graduates, this is your day, and we're so immensely proud of you. As I reflect on what we have collectively navigated together over the past couple of years, I'm astonished by what we have achieved in spite of the challenges and obstacles presented by the pandemic. It has been incredible to witness each of you persevere through uncertainty, embrace challenges, and remain dedicated to your studies so you could arrive here at your graduation before, before you go on to what I hope will be fulfilling careers. Thank you for choosing Loyalist College in Toronto to pursue your post-secondary studies. Regardless of program or interest, our program teams, faculty and staff work hard to ensure each of you succeed. I am confident you have graduated equipped with the knowledge and skills you need to make a positive impact in your communities to succeed in your careers and to find fulfillment in whatever path you choose. You are ready to take on the world and we can't wait to see what you do next. A quote from Mahatma Gandhi seems appropriate today. Live as if you were going to die tomorrow. Learn as if you will live forever. Graduates never stop learning. Take pride in what you have accomplished and have faith that you have established a path that will take you where you want to go. It is a very interesting time to have graduated as there is so much uncertainty in the world, yet so much hope and change as we look forward to the future. Now that you will be entering the workforce, I encourage you to consider the many ways in which you can engage with your wider community as you pursue that career journey and consider how you can be part of that hope and change. Oprah Winfrey once said, follow your passion, it will lead you to your purpose. As you follow your passion, my best advice to you is don't always take the linear path. Don't be afraid of the curves in the road because it's the curves along the way that make life interesting. Choose kindness, be fearless, be forgiving, be confident in who you are, because we are confident that you're doing what you can to change the world. And the world needs you to lead to challenge the world around us. When you face tough days, remember this moment. Remember that you persevered through an unprecedented global health crisis to arrive at this moment. You did it. Be proud of achieving this milestone and go build the future that you've been dreaming of, and you've earned this. 
While you may be officially graduating from Loyalist, we hope you will continue to stay connected to this college. No matter where you go or how far you go, you will always have a family of supporters here to uplift you and to celebrate you. You are now part of an alumni community of almost 50,000 students who have graduated from Loyalist College from coast to coast to coast and right across the globe in the past 55 years. And so this day, enjoy this day with your family and friends. And once again, thank you for choosing Loyalist. My very best wishes and congratulations to you once again on this momentous occasion. Thank you, President Vaughn. It's now my privilege to introduce our guest speaker for this morning, Herlin Christie George. I have known Herlin, sorry, I have known Herlin for over two years now. She is one of our very first Loyalist College in Toronto students. So she's been through everything you've been through, and I've worked very closely with her for a number of years. So please welcome. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Simon. Good morning to parents, friends, teachers, facilitators, and of course the graduating class of 2021 and 2022. It is an honor to speak in front of you during this occasion. Today, we have become the graduates of Loyalist College. Two years ago, when you started, it was a whole new and very different experience. Most of us have not lived alone before this, having to work, cook our own meals, wake ourselves up for classes was some of the many difficulties that we faced during our time at school. Not to mention the COVID-19 pandemic, which was one hell of a roller coaster, which led most of us to complete our schoolings primarily online. It wasn't easy for any of us. During this time, we have lost a lot of lives, who might be our friends or family. I would like to take this moment to remember all of them who we will miss. But the important thing to notice is that we have persevered and completed this journey. Going through this tough time while away from my family, the only thing that kept me going was my studies. If not for the consistent support from the school and from the administration, I would not be here. Having accomplished my, studi my duties as a student and to find a co-op in my field and in turn to be hired full time, I was able to accomplish it. At this time, I would like to thank everyone from the school administration who was my backbone and helped me, motivated me, guided me on completing my journey. Also, I would also like to thank my parents who are not physically present here due to the distance, but today, that I could do to succeed. When you leave here today, celebrate what you have accomplished and look forward with an eye toward how you too can be an inspiration to others. Congratulations to the class of 2021 and 2022. We have come to the formal part of our ceremony where the Ontario College graduate certificates will be presented. President Vaughan, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have qualified in all respects for their Ontario College graduate certificate by successfully completing curricula offered by Loyalist College in Toronto. They have been recommended by the faculty to be awarded graduate certificates in recognition of their academic accomplishments. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Loyalist College, I do hereby confer on our graduates their respective Ontario College certificates with all the honours, privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereto. President Vaughan, on behalf of the graduates not present, I request that you confer their graduate certificate in absentia.
I so do. We are now going to have Florian Volion, Director of Academic Quality Assurance, handing the certificates to President Anne-Marie Vaughan, conferring of the graduate certificates. During the next part of the program, we'll be presenting the graduates from Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, Cloud Computing, Cybersecurity, Global Business Management, Project Management, Supply Chain Management, Enterprise Resource Planning, Supply Chain Management, Global Logistics, and Wireless Information Networking. Students from these programs will proceed across the stage to receive congratulations from the President. Please welcome Ms. Avni Hazuria and Ms. Anna Tran to the podium to announce the graduates. Thank you, Simon. Shivangi, please go. No problem. Venkata Mandadi. Jinsi George. Bharti. Pratik Monkia. Aaron Ganga. Sajan Singh Sisodia. Akshita. Anukaran Jobanjit Singh. Suraj Rana. Samir Sahal. Lovepreet Kaur. Abhishek Arora. Thank you. 
Adil Abbas, just wait. Go. <laughs> Amanpreet Kaur. Bina Reddy Mendu. <laughs> Divya Shakti. <laughs> Gurpreet Singh Manku. Harmandeep Kaur. Jasmeet Singh. Jatinder Pal Singh. Kaushalya Dharams Dasani. Kirandeep Kaur. Labjot Kaur. Maninder Kaur. Manisha Rajvi. Manali Patel. Nayan Modi. Pooja Devi. Prabhjot Kaur. Rahul Gupta. Rashmeet Kaur. Satveer Kaur. Shirley Bander. Shubhanshu Sharma.
Rohit Kathuria. Ranjit Singh. Sobhan Preet Kaur Mali. Sukhdeep Kaur. Vivek Rathor. Viraj Parekh. Anna will go next. Thank you. Abhishek Thakur. Amin Jot Sakon. Amrit Paul Singh. And Kit Rana. And Kush Badwaj. Anu Gupta. Arshpreet. Ashta Pujar. Gaurav Kapoor. Gurpreet Singh. Gur Prakash Walia. Gurinder Bassi. Gurpri Ube. Harwinder Kaur. Harish Kumar. Harthi Dava. Him Sagar. Him 
Hinson Johnson. Jessica Ren Singh. Jasleen Kaur. Kachan Bawa. Jan Ja. Komal Sharma. Krishna Pandey. Mandeep Kaur. Goldie. Manpreet Kaur. Muskan Gupta. Nishu Sodi. Navjeet Kaur. Devanshu Goyal. <laughs> Gurinder Veer Kaur. <laughs> Jaskaran Singh. Jaspreet Singh Dhaliwal. Jagdeep Singh Brar. Manjot Kaur. Jadi Patel. Malaya Behera. Garima Kapoor. Roop Sonia Sri Rama.
पी जे आर मनीधर नवदीप सिंह नवजोत नवजोत सैनी नेहा परमिंदर कौर प्रभनोर गिल हरप्रीत कौर पुनीत क्रोवर ऋषभ कुमार रवनदीप कौर रमनीत कौर मनिंदर ढिंस राजवंत सिंह रिजवान मोठ सनियम बंसल शौर्य गर्ग सुशील सुरेंद्रन सुखबीर सिंह स्वरण कौर सक्षम सुजीवन परिस पागु
सौम्य चित्रदुर्ग स्वप्नश्री खडियाल वंदना खुराना वैभव पैल तनवीर सिंह हरलेन जॉर्ज लव डीप सिंह भाव Rohit Singh Rathore Kosilia Devi Krishnan Murthy Ravleen Kaur Clarissa Ponteca Darpan Kumar Patel Anson Noranha Pawesh Bardwaj Divya Nair Himani Twar Lukmeet Singh Prabhjot Kaur Ravi Garg Sonia Sonia Saranash Jane Tejbir Kaur (Applause) 
Ermik Vashi. Sandeep Turkule. Navdeep Rani. Lovedeep Singh. Harjeet Kaur. Amrit Paul Kaur Sidhu. Thank you. This concludes the conferring of Ontario graduate certificates. Please join me in congratulating all the graduates. President Vaughn. <clears throat> Thank you. And this concludes Loyalist College in Toronto first convocation. <clears throat> to our distinguished guests, college community members, friends and family, thank you for being here with us today to mark this very special occasion. To our graduates, congratulations once again. And all the best to you as we look forward to seeing what you do next. Take care, take good care of yourselves. You are invited to join us for a reception immediately following the ceremony in the lower gallery. And I would ask that everyone please rise for the recessional and then follow the platform party and the graduates out to, to the back. Please be seated. Welcome everybody to the first Loyalist College in Toronto Convocation. 
So if anybody has a program, you will have read that Donna Church was meant to be the MC, but due to unforeseen medical conditions, she had to step out at the last minute, unfortunately. So my name is Simon McQueen. I'm the CEO of Toronto Business College, Loyalist College in Toronto. Um, and I'm pleased um, to be here as your master of ceremonies for today's proceedings. I will start off the session by please asking that everybody switch off their cell phones or put them on mute or take off the vibration, whatever has to happen so that we don't interrupt. Thank you very much. Loyalist College in Toronto would like to acknowledge that we live and work on the traditional territory of Haudenosaunee speaking nations, including the Huron, Wendat, Seneca, and Mohawk. Haudenosaunee speaking nations have been here since time immemorial and were more recently joined by the Mississaugas of the Credit. This place has many indigenous ports, including where the Humber and Rouge rivers meet, other waterways such as Lake Ontario. Ancient longhouses, typical Haudenosaunee housing structures, have been found along both of these rivers and in the north of Toronto as well, near modern-day York University. This territory is covered by the Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, an agreement between the Haudenosaunee Six Nations Confederacy and the Anishinaabe Ojibwe and Allied Nations to peaceably share and care for the lands and the relationships around the Great Lakes. What this means is that by living and working here, we all have a responsibility to the environment and to each other, to treat and teach others and the environment with peace and respect. This means we have responsibilities to honor, renew, and consistently uphold the values and relationships outlined in these ancient agreements. Today, Toronto is home to Indigenous peoples and settlers from around the world. Let us all come together in an atmosphere of respect and peace to do good work together with good minds. Niawen Miigwech. Thank you. Now would you kindly stand again and join me in welcoming Ms. Haley Preziosi in the singing of our national anthem. May now once again be seated. This afternoon, we are recognizing our diploma graduates. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Anne Marie Vaughan, President of Loyalist College, who will officially open convocation and will address graduates.
Thank you, Simon. And good afternoon, everyone. It is a pleasure to be here with you today as we celebrate our amazing graduates. I now declare Loyalist College in Toronto's convocation ceremony officially open. On behalf of... On behalf of the Loyalist College Board of Governors, it is my privilege to extend a very special welcome to you, graduates, on this very special celebration. I would also like to extend a warm welcome to the friends and family, community partners, faculty and staff who have been an integral part of our graduating students' post-secondary and professional journeys. Convocation is a incredible milestone to have reached, and we are all so delighted to share in this celebration with you. I know I speak on behalf of all Loyalist College employees and the Board of Governors when I say that we are immensely proud of each and every one of you and how much you have accomplished in order to be here with us today. Never before has anyone had to complete their entire post-secondary education and make their way into the workforce during a global health crisis. This is a truly a remarkable accomplishment. And graduates, this is your day, and we are so immensely proud of you. As I reflect on what we have collectively navigated together over the last couple of years, I am astonished by what we have achieved in spite of the challenges and obstacles presented by the pandemic. It has been incredible to witness each of you persevere through uncertainty, embrace challenges, and remain dedicated to your studies so that you could arrive here at your graduation before you go on to what I hope will be fulfilling careers. Thank you for choosing Loyalist College in Toronto to pursue your post-secondary studies. Regardless of program or interest, of interest, our program teams, faculty and staff, work hard to help each student succeed. I am confident that you have graduated equipped with the knowledge and skills you need to make a positive impact in your communities, to succeed in your careers, and to find fulfillment in whatever path you choose. You are ready to take on the world and we can't wait to see what's next. A quote from Mahatma Gandhi seems appropriate today. Live as if you were gonna die tomorrow. Learn as if you were gonna live forever. Graduates never stop learning. Take pride in what you have accomplished and have faith that you have established a path that will take you where you want to go. It's a very interesting time to be graduating as there's so much uncertainty in this world, yet so much hope and change as we look to the future. Now that you will be entering the workforce, I encourage you to consider the many ways in which you can engage with your wider community as you pursue your career journey and consider how you can be part of that hope and change that we need in the world. Oprah Winfrey once said, follow your passion, it will lead you to your purpose. As you follow your passion, my best advice to you is don't always take the linear path. Don't be afraid of the curves in the road because it's the curves along the way that make life interesting. Choose kindness, be fearless. Be forgiving, be confident in who you are, because you, we are confident in, do, in that you are going to do everything to change this world. And the world needs you to lead, to challenge, to challenge the world around us. When you face tough days, remember this moment. Remember that you persevered through an unprecedented global health crisis to arrive at this moment, and you did it. Be proud of achieving this milestone and go build that future that you've been dreaming of because you've all earned it. While you may be officially graduating from Loyalist, we hope you will continue to stay connected to the college. No matter where or how far you go, 
you will always have a family of supporters to uplift and to celebrate you. You are now part of the alumni community of almost 50,000 students who have graduated from Loyalist College over the last 55 years, from coast to coast and right across this globe. And so enjoy this day with your family and friends. And once again, thank you for choosing Loyalist. My very best wishes and congratulations to you once again on this momentous occasion. Thank you. Thank you, President Vaughan. It's now my privilege to introduce our guest speaker for this morning. Herlin Christie George is one of our first Loyalist College in Toronto students. I have known and worked with her closely for over two years, so it's a pleasure to introduce the speaker. Herlin. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Simon. Good morning or good evening, parents, friends, teachers, facilitators, and of course the graduating class of 2021 and 2022. It is an honor to speak in front of you all during this occasion. Today, we have become the graduates of Loyalist College. Two years ago, when you started, it was a whole new and very different experience. Most of us have never cooked our own meals, wake ourselves up for classes, was some of the many difficulties that we faced during our time at school, not to mention the COVID-19 pandemic, which was one hell of a roller coaster, which led most of us to complete our schoolings primarily online. It wasn't easy for any of us. During this time, we have lost a lot of lives who might be our friends or family members. I would like to take this time to remember all of them who we will miss. But the most important thing to notice is that we have persevered and completed this journey. Going through this tough time, while away from my family, the one thing that kept me going was my studies. If not for the consistent support from the school and from the administration, I would not be here. Having accomplished my duties as a student and to find a co-op in my field and in turn to be hired full time, I was able to accomplish it. At this time, I would like to thank everyone from the school, administration, who was my backbone, who helped me, motivated me, guided me on completing my journey. Also, I would like to thank my parents, who are not physically present here today due to the distance for actually believing in me that I too could succeed. When you leave here today, celebrate what you have accomplished and look forward with an eye toward how you too can be an inspiration for others. Congratulations, the class of 21 and 22. We have now come to the formal part of our ceremony where the Ontario College Diplomas will be presented. President Vaughan, it is my privilege to report to you that the candidates here assembled have qualified in all respects for their diploma by successfully completing curricula offered by Loyalist College in Toronto. They have been recommended by the faculty to be awarded diplomas in recognition of their academic accomplishments. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors of Loyalist College, I do hereby confer on our graduates their respective Ontario College diplomas with all the honors, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. President Vaughan, on behalf of the graduates not present, I request that you confer their diplomas in absentia. I so do. So at this stage, Florian Voléon, our Director of Academics and Quality Assurance at Toronto Business College, at Loyalist College in Toronto, will assist President Vaughan in overseeing the conferring of diplomas. 
During the next part of the program, we, we will be presenting the diplomas from business and computer systems technician programs, who will proceed across the stage to receive congratulations from the president. Please welcome Ms. Avnit Hazuria and Ms. Anna Tran to the podium to announce the graduates. Thank you, Simon. Amanjot Kaur, please go. Thank you. Arshdeep Kaur. Arshpreet Kaur. Birpal Kaur. Gurjeet Singh. Gurpreet Singh. Harmanpreet Kaur. Harmanpreet Kaur. Harsh Noor. Harsimran Singh. Jess Kamal Sharma. <laughs> Jaswinder Bual. <laughs> Charanpreet Kaur. Sahil Kumar Ahir. Sahil Patel. Jawal Patel. Lovepreet Kaur. Harmanpreet Kaur. Harmanpreet Kaur. 
हरलीन कौर मिनाल पंचाल मोलकदीप सिंह नवजोत करवल पदमप्रीत कौर पलकदीप कौर निखिल कॉलोरु रमनप्रीत कौर रमनप्रीत कौर परमीत कौर रंजीत कौर सिमरनजीत कौर रुशीर ठक्कर रितिक साक्षी वर्मा गुरलीन कौर रमन कुमार यश डाबरा सुखमनदीप कौर सावन साहिल कुमार आकाशदीप सिंह अमनदीप सखौन अमनप्रीत सिंह
Amanpreet Jam. Anis. And Molpreet Singh. <laughs> Arsh Patar Rand Ha. Arvind Thakur. Anuja Saru Bhavanpri Kaur Arshpreet Singh Charkhan Kamal Singh. Darshan Singh. Diskipreet Kaur. Avneet Kaur Eshwar Bhargav Dragon Pri Chuan Gagan Preet Singh <laughs> Gurvinder Singh Gurjot Bopari Gurmeet Gajar <laughs> Garvit Anija Mohit Singh <laughs> Hardeep Kaur Harpreet Kaur Harman Preet Kaur <laughs> Har
Harpreet Kaur. Harmandeep Singh. Harpreet Dalua. Harmin Preet Kaur. I love Deep Dillon. Jasmine Paul Kaur. Jasmine Kaur. Jarman Singh. Joshan Preet Singh. <laughs> Kiran Deep Kaur. <laughs> Daman Preet Tagar. Kiran Pasadu. Kamal Preet. Kiran Deep Kaur. Deep Chima Kezia Singh Metali Malpreet Kaur. <laughs> Mustali Sunawal. Manpreet Kaur. <laughs> Navdeep Kaur. <laughs> Navdeep Kaur. Arneet Kaur. <laughs> P 
Pallavi Verma. Pawan Deep Kondola. Roman Deep Singh. Rashini Fatima Vohara. Raman Preet Kaur. Ramanik Singh. Ranjit Sani Raghav Sharma Ravneet Kaur Randeep Kaur. Rupinder Kaur. Ramandeep Vartiya. Ratinder Pal Dhinsa Simrat Simon Gupta Simran Preet Kaur. <laughs> Sukhveer Kaur. <laughs> Sanreet Kaur. Shreel Patel Simranjit Kaur Simranpreet Kaur Shubh Karman Singh Vanshita Simran Preet Singh
वीरपाल कौर विशवजीत सिंह नवदीप सिंह अविरल मेहता हरसिमरन कौर लवप्रीत लेढ़ार कोमलप्रीत कौर गुरविंदर सिंह दीपिंदर कौर गुरसिमरन प्रीत कौर गुरप्रीत सिंह थैंक यू This concludes the conferring of diplomas. Please join me in congratulating the graduates. Thank you. This concludes Loyalist College in Toronto first convocation. To our distinguished guests, college community members, friends and family, thank you for being here to allow us to mark this special occasion. To our graduates, congratulations once again and all the best to you as we look forward to seeing what you do next. You are invited to join us for a reception immediately following the ceremony in the lower gallery. I would ask that, every, ask that everyone please rise for the recessional, the um, platform guests, followed by the students, the graduates, <laughs> and then followed by everybody else. So I look forward to seeing you outside.